The Call of the Wild is a short novel by Jack London, published in 1903 and set in Canada, during the 1890s Klondike Gold Rush, when powerful sled dogs were in high demand. Buck is a big dog, half St. Bernard and half Scottish Shepherd, who lives a relaxed life in the Santa Clara Valley, at the home of Judge Miller. It's a peaceful and wonderful time in both their lives, but it doesn't last, as gold is being discovered in the Great North, and big dogs become a wanted commodity since they're perfect for dragging the heavy sleds through the snowy plains. Buck gets stolen by one of the servants of the judge, who is always gambling. He in turn sells Buck to a group of thieves, who've made a trade of supplying dogs to some of the northern traders. Buck is steadfast and resists his new circumstances, as he's beaten and tied up. He fights against this, but has to relent in the end, finding out that a man with a club is master, and has to be obeyed at all times to avoid bad things from happening. After traveling for days with train and boat, Buck arrives in the north, which is bare, and he's soon confronted with the survival of the fittest reality of this place. He works as a member of a dog team that pulls a sled, must learn to dig a hole in the snow for sleeping, and survive on very little food and suffer hunger. He soon discovers that his dominant instinct is quite developed in him, and he learns quickly that when he could be attacked, it's better to attack first. This realization makes it so that he's always on his guard, which takes energy in such dire conditions. He has the advantage of size over many of the other dogs, and can fend for himself quite easily. But secretly, he's hurting from sore paws, because of the ice and snow, having led such a luxury life not too long ago. After a few very hungry days, his old killer instinct returns for raw meat and blood. It's around this time that he has a few fights with Spitz, the leading dog of his sled team. In the decisive fight, Buck is victorious, and he takes over the leader role from then on. He proves himself a force and even wins the praise of his masters, Francois and Perrault. Buck's next master is so demanding of the dogs, that many crumble under the conditions he imposes. Buck survives in the end, but he loses much of his weight, before getting sold to three amateurs called Charles, Hal and Mercedes. They have no experience and do a horrible job planning anything. When they go on a trip, at the halfway mark, their food runs out. Because of this Buck doesn't see the point in continuing on and he refuses to get into his harness, and in consequence he's severely beaten. Luckily, a man called John Thornton appears and stops the brothers by threatening them. Buck's vision comes true since when the three amateurs continue on their way a while later, with some of the remaining dogs, they try crossing a river of melting ice, and they all drown. John Thornton is recovering from frostbite, and he cares for Buck, making him gain strength day by day, which builds up a loyalty in Buck for this man. He seems to become tame because of this kindness, yet sometimes when they're together in the woods, he feels his wild side, which has been awoken. As John returns to civilization, a miner attacks him, and Buck responds by killing the man. He saves his life a second time when John's lost to some river rapids, by swimming to him with a tow line. When John brags about being sure Buck can drag a sled with a thousand pounds on it, Buck wins him the bet, finding the strength in his great love of John. With the money he gains, he heads with Buck to the wilderness, in search of his own gold mine. He works long and hard together with other men. Meanwhile Buck spends time in the woods, stalking wild animals, catching salmon and running with wolves. He once spent four days hunting a huge bull moose. When Buck returns to camp one day, he finds all the men and John have been killed by Indians. He goes out and attacks them all, out of instinct, and kills many, before driving the rest away with such awe and fear for him that the Indians consider the valley an evil place from that point on. Buck's been freed of civilization, and he joins a pack of wolves, 
and it's said that he becomes the leader of a new group of wild dogs that still roam the plains of the Great North. If you'd like to make a suggestion about what book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.